Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about everything cast by. If you enjoy these updates, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button and hit that red subscribe button. But now let's get right into it. So if we're looking at the overall market, you know, as we did start off a brand new week, you're, you're seeing a little bit of a retracement within the overall market. Reason being, um, you know, due to the fact that Bitcoin has also seen a little bit of a minor pullback starting off the week, which is totally okay. Um, you know, let's not forget uh, what has been happening for the price of Bitcoin over the course of the last uh, week and a half. It has been absolutely amazing. So you're seeing the uh, overall market kind of retracing right now. Um, you know, as far as Casper is concerned, it's down about 2.2%. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening and what are some short term targets we could be aiming for Casper. Um, so looking at the price of Casper right now, 17. At three cents so it's still above 17 cents or you know despite the fact that you know we're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback we're also down about 0.5 percent in bitcoin comparative while market cap is currently sitting at 4.2 billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume is at about 42.1 million but before we go into any further as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So I want you guys to take a look at what's happening with the Bitcoin Dominance Index. So, you know, Bitcoin Dominance Index is pretty much still around 55.62%. But what actually happened as we did start off the week is, you know, Bitcoin price actually did, uh, you know, see a little bit of a retracement. And where you're looking at the price of Bitcoin sitting at is at some significant support levels. And in order to kind of confirm how important the significant uh, support level is we can even kind of go back to you know the previous cycle at one point this was a new all-time high back in October of 2021 you can see this for yourself um, you know that exact same resistance that previous all-time high is it coming as a you know, significant amount of support for the price of Bitcoin? But if you've been watching my videos, despite the fact that, you know, we're seeing so much bullish momentum within the crypto space, I did indicate to you guys that, you know, do not be surprised if we do see, um, you know, Bitcoin retest $64,000 support line. You know, $64,000 support line is in play, believe it or not. And it's a realistic support because let's face it, you know, the overall market has that FOMO feeling factor now. Uh, and, you know, when that usually tends to happen, Happen, uncertainty is quite low and um, you know a lot of people are excited you know prices are just going absolutely insane and this is where the whales can come out and be like you know hold on let's kind of shake out the um, overall weak hands so before we do see the market continue towards the upside so today of course Ethereum um, you know got the approval um, from the SEC for the ETF to start getting traded and obviously that is a big news but you're looking at the market actually reacting in a negative way so is the sell the news as event really taking place i believe so i believe whales are taking massive advantage of that but nonetheless take a look at the bigger picture rather than taking a look at the smaller time frames if you're looking at caspa on the other hand you did see caspa you know obviously get rejected at the 23.6 fibonacci resistance um i spoke to you guys about yesterday you know that is you know the focal point um, of the conversation that took place in our yesterday's update and like i said if you guys are enjoying these updates smash that white line and i will bring you guys these updates on a continuous basis so what you're looking at is of course um you know the focal point of the conversation yesterday was you know that we're having a little bit of a hard time for the price of casper to get back into the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level and it does not help when market does turn around you will see projects reacting um and you can see um that you know the price of casper actually retest to the support line at the 17.1 cents uh, and if you want to put this into perspective in terms of how uh, you know much of a move towards the downside this really was only a move of about five percent five point seven five percent so nothing too major uh, but do not be surprised at this fact because you know we do need to understand why bitcoin is the king of the markets and how everything correlates with it uh, but what if i told you caspa is still looking really really good it's still um, holding really well uh, compared to the overall market, despite uh, seeing that lag, which I also discussed with you guys yesterday. Uh, but so far, so good. You know, you're still seeing this pretty much from April, uh, actually May 1st low. If you're measuring it from that angle, you're still seeing higher, high, higher low formation forming. So um, I like what I'm seeing. 
Um, so what happens if we do lose the 23.6, I'm sorry, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement support line? What happens then? You know, that is a question that you guys probably have right now. So then, you know, the next major support line for, um, you know, CASPA would be around the 16.8 cents. Um, and most importantly, around the 16.3 cents mark. And as I've said to you guys before, uh, you know, CASPA is one of the projects that does get impacted quite heavily and quite fast because, of course, you know, it's not listed on a lot of major exchanges. And, um, you know, it's really easy for whales to come and manipulate the market. So do not be shocked at the fact that, you know, if you do see CASPA retest and see like sharp you know, pullbacks in case, you know, Bitcoin were to uh, retest the 64 to $63,000 support level. If that were to happen, we could see a massive wick down to possibly even the 15.5 cents mark before continuing towards the upside. That's just how CASPA moves. Um, and, you know, that is obviously the reason as to why you want to be locking in profits. It's just not about CASPA. It's about everything. Even though we're in a bull market, everything is looking absolutely amazing. Um, you know, you never want to ignore not locking in profits. Always lock those profits in do not let uh, anyone tell you otherwise uh, but you know that's how I'm currently looking at it but you know I do believe that you know Bitcoin will, you know will bounce because you know there's so much good news uh, rather than bearish news around Bitcoin right now but let's see what happens you know pay very close attention to BTC right now let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto ZX and peace out